Hey everyone and welcome into this week's video. We are making Cubanos. Let's go. We are going to be doing our very own Mojo pulled pork. Not traditional, I know, but it's going to taste absolutely amazing. There's going to be smoked gammon in there. There's going to be homemade pickles. We are making our own chia batter for the bread. It's just going to be absolutely incredible and amazing. So without further ado, let's get straight into the recipe. Okie dokie, this recipe starts the night before. Into a food processor, you want to chuck 160 grams of olive oil. You want to zest two oranges and squeeze the juice of six oranges you also want the juice of six limes stay with me guys it's quite a lot you also need 100 grams of coriander 30 grams of fresh mint 10 large cloves of garlic two teaspoons of cumin powder two teaspoons of dried oregano and one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper and then you're just going to blend this in your food processor to have a nice kind of slightly smooth, slightly chunky marinade for your pork. You're going to need, you're going to need 1.5 kilos of boneless pork collar with the skin removed. It doesn't really matter if it's got the skin, but it's better to have it removed. And then what you're going to want to do is chuck that into a bowl or a Ziploc bag, mix the marinade all around it, get it, make sure it's in every little crevice, and then you're going to wrap this in cling film or seal the Ziploc bag and put this in the fridge overnight for 12 hours. Okay, fast forward to the next day, your pork is ready. You're going to want to put this on a rack above a tray so the air circulates around it in the oven. You're going to shut this into the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. While that's in the oven for the first 30 minutes, we're going to boil down the marinade for 10 to 15 minutes to kill off any bacteria that's left in there from marinating the meat. Okay, very important. Make sure you do that, guys. Very, very important. So the next step is going to be a little bit complicated, but just follow me and everything is going to be fine. You're going to remove your meat from the oven after 30 minutes. You're going to brush it down with the marinade. You're then going to flip the meat and you're going to brush it down yet again with the marinade and then that is going to go back into your oven at 160 degrees celsius for another 30 minutes after 30 minutes remove your pork from the oven again and you're going to repeat the same process as before you're going to brush this down with your marinade and pop it back into the oven for 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes your pork's going to look beautiful and kind of just like you're seeing here in the video it's gonna have some nice caramelized bits on and we're just gonna chuck that into tin foil and this is when the long slow cook begins we're going to put that back into the oven for three hours at 160 degrees and you're going to have pork that looks just like this it's going to absolutely just melt as you kind of pull it apart you're going to pull all of your pork apart until you have nice chunks of pork And if all has gone well, you should have a little bit of marinade left. So once you've pulled the pork, you're going to throw your pulled pork back into the marinade. You're going to mix this around and then you're going to season this to taste with salt and pepper. Honestly, this thing is just mwah, absolutely life changing. So good. OK, the next step is very simple. We're going to make the gammon. We're going to take a smoked gammon joint and we're going to boil this in water until it reaches an internal temperature of 72 degrees plus. Once you get up to 72 degrees, take it out and then you're going to pop this on a plate, wrap this in some simple and just let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's make some pickles. Into a pan you want to place 500 grams of caster sugar, 500 grams of apple cider vinegar and 500 grams of water. Pop this on the stove and you're going to bring this up to a boil. While this is coming up to a boil, we're going to prepare our cucumbers. Really, you can cut these into whatever shapes you like, but I kind of cut the cucumber in half and then went for these long rectangle type deals. Chuck them bad boys into a bowl, and then once the pickle liquor has come up to a boil, pour it straight over your cucumbers. Put everything on, on there, and then you're going to wrap this in cling film, and then just leave this to come back down to room temperature. That is your pickles done, easy as that. Time to assemble our Cuban. 
So we got cheer batter bread here. I'll link down in the description the video on where you can on the, how you can make that. Um, if not, you go to the shop and buy some. You want to start off by slathering about a tablespoon of American mustard on the bottom of the chia batter, followed by two slices of gouda, and then a healthy handful of the mojo marinated pork. This stuff is just so good, so get a healthy, healthy portion of this. After that, you're going to want to throw on some of the smoked gammon. I put four slices in just because it is an absolutely delicious thing, and why would you not want more of it? In your sandwich on top of that we're going to throw on a bunch of our pickles literally just make sure you're covering the surface of the sandwich here this is just going to cut through the richness of everything else and then I'm going to follow that up with two slices of Edam cheese just to you know that's not Edam that's Emmental just to vary things up you know after that we're going to crown our king just make sure you put another tablespoon of American yellow mustard on the other side of the bread and that is it let's cook this bad boy brush the bottom of your bread with softened butter and then we're going to lower this into a carbon steel or cast iron skillet on a very low heat the trick for this sandwich is to cook it on a really low heat for as long as physically possible so you're going to cook this for about five to eight minutes on one side before you're going to brush more butter on the top side of the bread and then flip it over and cook it for another five to eight minutes there is a little trick here that you're going to see in a minute to help everything get a little bit melted everything warm up a little bit i'm just going to spray a bit of water into the pan and instantly cover it with another pan and this is going to create steam around the sandwich and that's just going to help everything get nice and warm and melty and delicious once everything is warmed up, the cheese is melted and you are happy with where it's at, take it out of the pan and you are ready to absolutely destroy this beast of a sandwich. Check out this cross section, all of those things, all that hard work is coming together and you're going to have the most perfect, delicious Cuban sandwich you have ever seen in your entire life. Cuban sandwich done and dusted this is a pretty lengthy process to make this but i'm telling you it is so 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 worth it honestly you gotta go and give this a go let's try this bad boy i don't know how, how you're supposed to like attack this yes there are so many things happening in there you've got all those herbs from the mojo pork coming through just absolutely giving you an explosion of flavour in your mouth. You've got the pickles cutting through the richness and fattiness of the pork. You've got the smokiness from the smoked gammon. You've got the mustard just adding a really nice little kind of background flavour. And then, obviously that's your batter. This stuff is damn good. It's crispy, it's beautiful, it's delicious, it's juicy. Mate, look at that. Look at that thing. Who doesn't want to eat this? I highly recommend you go and give this a go because this is freaking amazing. If you guys have enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to drop the video a like. Leave a comment on what you want me to make next week. And as always, subscribe if you're enjoying the content. I'll see you guys around. Bye bye.